So we currently have the ability to add stocks to our portfolio. We can keep stocks for later, but sometimes we also want to delete stocks out of our portfolio because sometimes things turn into bad investments. So what we're going to do is we are going to add an X button to our portfolio item that will communicate to the top part of our app. And the thing that we are actually trying to communicate with is our state in the form of portfolio values so that we can get rid of Apple or we can get rid of Tesla. And the JavaScript method that we are going to be using is going to be called filter. And this is what you use for almost all deletes. So each time that we actually do the delete, filter is going to be important because it's immutable and will create a brand new array each time that we actually do the delete. So instead of it being deleted from the original array, it's just going to create a new array with uh, Tesla without Tesla in it. And that is the whole entire idea behind the filter method. So let's go ahead, let's hop into VS Code and let's actually code this. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So what we need to do is we need to create the method that's going to handle the delete. And because we had to make this one any, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the TypeScript as well too, because it's very, very difficult to figure out which type is going to allow you to pull the value out like that. So let's just go ahead and uh, turn off the TypeScript for just for this one. It's not ideal, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so we're gonna go e.preventDefault. And that is going to make sure that our page doesn't load when we actually s submit it and blow away all of the data. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create an immutable method that's going to get all of the values out of our portfolio. It's going to filter them and it's going to give us the value back in the form of a new array. Remember that if you are ever doing any type of uh, removal or update, the value must be immutable. So we're going to take that value and then we are going to check if it is not a part of the actual value that we are going to get through our E. So we're going to go here. We are going to go value. And then we're going to do a classic set portfolio values. And we are going to pass in the remove. And that's pretty uh, much it in terms of the actual method. Now what we need to do is we need to pass all of this down. So currently we have our card. We have our list. Now what we need to do is add our delete portfolio component. So we're going to go here. We're going to say delete portfolio. Then I'm going to go into here. I'm going to say delete portfolio.tsx. Go delete portfolio.css. So go ahead, TS RFC as usual. Go into here, add our interface, add our props. And I'm going to just go from top down. Sometimes I go from bottom up. Sometimes I go from top down, but it really doesn't matter. You're just going to have to drill down until you get into the actual uh, car. So I am going to go into here and I'm going to pass it down below here. So I'm going to say on portfolio delete and I'm going to go ahead and pass into here on portfolio delete. And because we have no interface and we're actually passing it down, we need to go into our car, uh, portfolio list and we need to actually add this to our interface. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to say on portfolio portfolio delete and just to try to be a little bit official i'm going to pass in a synthetic event up here so i'm going to go synthetic event and we also it's not going to bring it in so i'm just going to go up into here say synthetic event just like this and i'm also going to pass it down so say on portfolio delete and i need to pass this on portfolio delete into my card so i'm going to say on portfolio delete and i'm going to go ahead and pass in on portfolio delete that is looking good. Now I need to go down into my actual card and I need to do the same exact thing. So I'm gonna go on portfolio, delete is equal to E synthetic event. So synthetic event, go ahead and make that a void. Go ahead, pass that into here. So I'm going to say synthetic event and I'm also going to pass this into here. So say on portfolio, delete and we will go into here and we will change this to portfolio delete or delete portfolio so it's going to say delete portfolio 
we also need to go into here and we need to pass it into our, our on portfolio delete. So I'm going to say on portfolio delete and I'm going to pass that in. So on portfolio delete, then we need to go into the portfolio delete and we need to do the exact same thing. So we're going to say delete portfolio. That is looking good. Okay. So go into here, say on portfolio portfolio delete going to equal e of a synthetic event so synthetic event go ahead add the void so go into here do the same exact thing so synthetic event add void now what we need to do is we need to create a form and also we need to go into here and we need to say on portfolio delete and go here say form so go form and we'll go input you're going to be passing a hidden field. So we'll say hidden is equal to true. Say value is equal to portfolio value. So portfolio value. We also need to go ahead and get the portfolio value as well too. Also, we need to add a button. This button is going to be an X. So we'll go here, go ahead, add the X value. We also need to add the portfolio value. And we need to go ahead and get the portfolio value from the top. So we'll go here. Now we'll go from bottom to top. Be good practice. So we'll go say string. And also I need to add my on submit because we need to be able to pass this up. So I'll say on portfolio delete. And let's just go ahead and let's go up the chain. So I'm going to go up the card portfolio. And also we need to pass the portfolio value. So I'll say portfolio portfolio value is equal to portfolio value. So that's looking good. Then need to go to the list portfolio. So we're getting a red line in here. So I need to add a void just like this. Our portfolio value is already being passed down. So that looks good to go. And that pretty much should be it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here, say localhost 3000. Let's go ahead, let's give it a go. So we're gonna say Microsoft add. Oh, sweet, would you look at that? So we'll say Apple. So we'll add a couple of these. Just add a couple of random ones, just like this. And if we click them, they are successfully deleted. We have successfully added the delete component to our app. We are ready for CSS. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, Make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for thank you for watching.